Christian philosophy. Now the Catholics misinterpret. They were on the right place, but they misinterpreted what the Lord was saying. When you look at hell from its etymological roots, there are three levels to hell, and the three levels of hell were not created by Satan. They were created by God because hell was created for the devil and for demons and the cast out angels I feel them preaching I feel it here shout hallelujah shout glory there are three levels to hell the first level is Gehenna and Gehenna literally means the grave I'll tell everybody that all of us are going to hell because all of us have to go to Gehenna which is the first level of hell now the Catholics took it and they called it purgatory they said it's a place where if you're really not that bad but if you're really not that good you can go there and you can pay for your sins and then be released to heaven that's not so but Gehenna is purgatory it's the place where the spirit will rest until the Lord quickens the dead and the dead in Christ will be the first to learn. they'll be the first to get up the second level of hell is Hades it's the midsection it's a place of mild torment like a hotel facility it's got different rooms and in every room there's a different kind of torment but the torment wasn't made for man it was made for the devil the cast out angels the demonic spirits I gotta get out here somebody shout hallelujah the third level is torturous it's a place of everlasting darkness where God will bind them with chains and hold them there he said don't fear hell because hell will be cast into the lake of fire now what the devil tried to do is make hell his place of retaliation his place to harm the generations of man and that's why Jesus said if you know who I am he said the gates of hell will not prevail I got to get out of here shake your neighbor's hand for the third to the last time and say neighbor no weapon found against me shall be able to prosper shout hallelujah shout glory he defends the hells he puts out what Ephesians calls the archives the high ranking angels and demons who know more about us than we know about ourselves and they create strategies against us he deals with the principalities that's the high ranks that's the high ranks he uses them the Greek calls them archives and then the powers the Greek calls the exosias the soldiers the infantry he uses soldiers to mess up our minds to get in our dreams if he wants to pervert us he'll call Niobus which is the manager of dreams and Niobus will hire Incubus and Succubus which are characters in the dream to pervert our minds and to pervert our thoughts and then the rulers of the darkness of this world the cosmos Kratophus they are not in the hells but they surround the hells the witches and the warlocks 
the soothsayers, the wizards, those who deal with voodoo, who do in Kanye, black magic, playing with root magic, with water magic, with fire magic, with metal magic, with herbal magic. You're not talking here. They surround hell and then spiritual wickedness in high places the pneumaticus pomerias the angels of rank and authority and power like the prince of persia that was able to lock gabriel in prison until michael came all of this arsenal is designed to defeat us but jesus said to peter if you tell me who I am, can't no weapon. I got to get out of here. Run to somebody and tell them no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. He said, now that you know me, he said, I'm giving you the keys because I need you to go into hell and take back what the devil stole. Since you know who I am, I'll make you an apostle. Since you know who I am, I'll make you a prophet. Since you know who I am, I'll make you an evangelist. Since you know who I am I'll make you a teacher since you know who I am I'll make you a pastor I'll put the pastor on the left side of hell I'll put the prophet on the right side of hell I'll put the evangelist in front of hell I'll put the teacher behind hell and I'll put y'all not talking here I'll put the apostle on top of hell and then I'll put Jesus inside of hell shake your neighbor's hand for the second to the last time and say neighbor we have hell surrounded you're anointed to deal with demons you're anointed to deal with the witch you're anointed to deal with the warlock you're anointed to deal with her blood pressure shake your neighbor's hand for the last time and say we have we have hell surrounded let's work together let's pray together let's fast together let's cry together we have hell Touch your neighbor, say, work with me, pray with me, cry with me, fast with me. We're better together. I got to get out of here, but run to your neighbor and say, surround them. Say, surround them. Surround every demon praying in the Holy Ghost. Surround every witch worshiping God. Surround every warlock giving God the praise. Bishop, preach until the devil understands that you are in charge. Prophesy until the devil understands that the anointing is on you. Come what may, keep on preaching. Storms may rise, winds may blow, but open up your mouth and declare. Declare, declare the works of the Lord. Lift up your hands. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout glory. Shout glory. If you want to shout at the title, step in the ring. Greetings. This is Apostle Amos Hart. And I want to welcome you to Living Oil. The world has no water. And the 